All right, in this video, we're going to look at the Zuper-like BB code in KLWP, and it's a great update. Um, this was a while back. It's two point, what was it? 2.11, so Zuper-like BB code. And basically, here's what it lets you do. Um, if you have one text item, notice all I have, I have all that text you see right there, it's inside of one text item. And up until this update, you couldn't change global fonts inside of one text item. For example, um, let me back up. Uh, I do have some globals set, and we're going to refer back to these in a minute too. I got a global font or global color blue, green. Um, I got a global color red, and then I got three fonts: F1, F2, F3. And basically, um, before the update, if we applied, let's say, uh, F1, you know, you can change everything inside of that one text item. And then if we went over to paint, and let's just apply the red to that, you know, it changes everything inside of it. But now with this super light BB code, what we can actually do is we can edit individual pieces. Um, so basically, all right, I see bigger, italicized, different color, different font, smaller, different color, and italicized and bigger. Um, so I'm going to do these BB codes right here, but I'm going to do them over here in this text um, text edit right here just for the sake of um, me typing on a keyboard. So if I want this right here to be bigger, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this code right here, size. Now 20% bigger size, that 0.2 is what makes it 20% bigger. 1.2 means 20% bigger. 1.6 means 60% bigger. 1.5 means 50% bigger. So uh, let's type that code in. And it's going to be S equals, let's do like 1.4. Close that up. And now, that's how you start your code. Your text is going to be whatever you want to make bigger, smaller, or whatever. And then you end the code wherever you want this to end. So I want it to end after that period. So I'm going to do bracket. And how you end things, I remember a slash. Use the same letter as the code right here, S. And then close it up. Now, if I copy and paste this right here into KLWP, notice bigger. It is bigger. And this is how it works. So italicize, same way if we want to italicize something, we're going to do the, the brackets with the I, the black backslash and the I, and we're going to put the text in between that code that we're doing. So I want this right here to be italicized, or italicized, however you say that. Um, so I'm going to put that at the beginning backslash I at the end, that's going to um, italicize that word. Now I'm not going to copy this in here yet. Let's go ahead and talk about different colors. So I want a different color for this thing. To render a different color, we use this code. But since I've already used some global variables, um, I had a blue and a green, I want this to be a different color and I want it to be blue. Remember, just a second ago, all of this stuff was red because of my global variable red. So different color, I'm going to use this code here, C equals. Now, I don't know the actual number, so I, this is where I'm going to use my global variable. So dollar sign GV, and I want to do blue, because I want that to be blue, whereas the rest of this stuff right here, the bigger and the italicized, everything else was red while ago. So I'm ending my little code with the dollar sign, but then I have to close that up in a bracket. I want the color to stop here, so bracket backslash C for color in that color code. Different font. This is the cool update here um, as well. You can use different global fonts inside of one text item. So different font. Uh, I called the this whole font. I had it set as F1. Let's do F2. So you do not use dollar symbols here. I'm using this code. F equals. Now I'm going to do F2. Remember, I had a global font called F2 got my text in between it. That's what that text means right there. And I want that to end right here. So backslash F. All right. I want this to be smaller. Now, how do you make something smaller? We use a number less than one, but bigger than zero. Over here, this makes it bigger, 40% bigger. If you want to be 40% smaller, you need to do size equals 0.6. That's going to be 40% smaller because the difference between 0.6 and 1 is 40%. So, 
Or, it, yeah, I think that's right. Or is it, do we do 0.4? I don't care. I know this is going to be smaller because I did S equals 0.6. It's not bigger than 1, clearly. So this is going to be smaller. Let's end that code right there. And then you can combine different codes. We can do different color and italicized and bigger. And i tell you what. And let's do a different font. All of these codes in one. Here's how we do it. So different color. Let's go ahead and do that. Color. We're going to do C equals. Let's do the GV green. GV green. I hope this works. We're going to find out. All right. So I'm going to end that one. Um, so C or backslash C. All right. That looks good. Now let's do, I'm going to put this in front. I don't think it really matters as long as you keep them in order. Italicize, so bracket I. I wonder if you can actually separate these things with commas. I'm not sure, but I'm going to roll with this. So that's ending my italicize. So different color, italicize. We want it to be bigger. So let's do bracket size equals, let's do like 1.8. That's going to be bigger than anything else up here, but it'll be okay. Let's end that code. So backslash S. Bigger and now a different font. So this is where we're going to do our font. Notice I got all these BB, super light BB codes um, all stringed together. And I'm starting them here and I'm ending them here. So font equals and let's do, uh, you do not use the dollar symbols with GV here. Um, that's where you have to be careful with this. Whereas I did use my global variable. Oh, I about messed up. I got to do GV green with a dollar symbol right there to close up that. All right, so font equals, what did I do up here earlier? F2, let's do F3. And let's end our font. Let's see if this is going to work. Bam, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to check it. I'm going to save it. I tell you what, I want to make this a little bit smaller just so we can see everything up here. And let's go back to the home screen. So do we have bigger? Yes. Do we have italicized? Yes. Do we have a different color? GV blue? Yes, we do. Look at that right there. Different font. Doesn't that font look different than the font we had before? Yeah. Isn't this smaller? Yep. Isn't this a different color? Yep. Isn't this italicized? Yep. Isn't the font bigger? Yes. And isn't it a different font? Yes. All of this is inside of one text item. That's great because now you can use global many global fonts inside of one text item. You can use different colors inside of one text item. And notice if I go up here and if I start if I go to paint and you know I take away this global variable that I had red, see how it went to white. If I change this to a yellow, it's only going to change those things that I don't have colors for in the BB code. Remember the BB code, that's going to stay blue because of that GV blue. This is going to stay green because of that GV green. So with all that said, you may wonder, why is this useful? Why is this helpful? Um, prior to using this, you would have to use different text items uh, to change font sizes. Uh, remember at the beginning of the video, you know, you change that, that text. If I go back here and I change... Um, the size, notice the size is changing, but now it's scaling this bigger and smaller. Everything's scaled inside of one piece. You don't have to edit multiple text items now based on this BB code. You don't need multiple text items when you want to change your fonts. Notice I got three different fonts inside of this one text item now. And uh, the bigger, the smaller, the colors, the fonts, the uh, italicized stuff. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, one thing I did not do, shame on me is this. Suppose you want to make this italicized right here um, bold. I'm going to come over here. That's one thing I didn't mention, uh, the bold right down there. We can render this text bold. Watch this right here. Let me show it to you real quick. To bold it, we start and backslash B, we end it. Let's copy all this and now watch this right here change. It's going to be italicized and bold. So let's select all, let's paste, bam, did you see it change? Italicized and bold. That's the one thing I forgot to mention there. But that does cover, and I didn't save it there, but that does cover all of uh, these particular BB codes that you see here. 
So hopefully you see the benefits of this. And there you have it. Um, minus my typos right here towards the end. Um, that is how you do Zuperlight BB codes in KLWP. And that is it for this video. Hope it helped.